Welcome to Claire's by Anda, uh, my seventh uh, live Facebook stream. And uh, delighted if anybody is out there. That sounds a bit daft, but um, <laughs> they'll be there. They'll be there, <laughs> hopefully. Um, delighted that anyhow the people are looking in on me. I get a great kick out of this. So, um, first of all, I'm going to do what I did last week. I'm going to show you something that's for sale in the shop that you can just come in at any time and buy something like this or a selection of. So I'm going to get Paul to zoom in here with me. So this here would be a typical 35 euro bouquet. Um, it has a selection of lilies, roses, gypsophily, uh, dyed solidago. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, these are white croissants and carnations and these chaps here are germinis. It's done with a nice selection of foliage and in a crepe wrap. You can have different, I'm up a bit, different yep. sorts of crepe wrap in colours. Yep. And then also you can go with, if you don't like the style of the crepe wrap, not everybody does, you can go with the um, cellophane or you can put it into a box. The boxes are becoming very popular. There's, you know, this kind of one, that kind of one, that kind of one, this, anyhow. And so that's kind of, I just wanted to zoom in on this okay here just to it's give gorgeous. you an idea yeah it's a nice size for 35 euros and that we say to everybody you should get 10 days out of that really people get an awful lot longer but i i don't know what everybody's situation is so that's why we say about 10 days so anywho and welcome our three viewers hi guys hi guys comments we love them how what are, are these gorgeous flowers so uh, well, well um well, All step over Oshin. Somebody wanted to see Oshin last week. There he is asleep. Uh, Oshin. Oshin, he's a lot quieter than he was last time. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Good when you sit, when you sit. Boy, stay there. Well trained dog. Well trained. <laughs> well trained dog. Now, Anyhow. What are we going to do today, Enda? So, what we're going to do today is, it's a little, it's a little Christmassy, but it's not. But I'm going to use this shape. It's what we call a boat shape. Um, uh, uh, dish and um, it's the only color I have it in you can get it in silver you can get it in gold and you can get it in red I wish I had silver but I don't I'm out of them so I'm going to do it in this so as you can see I have roses on the table I have my good old reliable white sticks and I have this asparagus my what's it called Myers I think M-E-Y-E-R-S didn't want that one wanted Ming but that's what came in so Put the mat there, moving this here. Now normally, as, as Paul has said before, I'm very good at getting the oasis in exactly how I need it. Pure luck, but 30 this years is, practice. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. This is a different shape, so it's a little bit more difficult. When you're putting oasis in into um, a, any type of jar, they always say, put the sign up. So this one has folia, folia, folia on the front of it. So that would point up. But I'm not using it that way, I'm using it on its side. But I'm using the whole block, and that whole block will fit in here, except for one piece. And that is, this part here needs to come off there, So, but only a small bit. That's literally it there, and there, and that's it. And this goes straight does in. Does it fit? Yes, yeah, it does. of course it does. <laughs> and again, with your, with your hands like that, the ball part of your hands, not your fingers, Press it in, okay? Yeah. Done. I thought I'd need that bit, don't. And um, so I'll leave that there. Right, so that's it. I'm not going to take this in because this arrangement, I don't want again the tape coming here. And after, I think after I'm done, I might fill in this part here. But in other words, it's like, it's, it is as it is like that. It's quite secure, it's not 100% secure, it's quite secure. So, start off, I'm going to use the half amount of these white twigs. There's nine viewers now, Enda. Oh, hello, few comments, nine people. Leave a few comments, tell us what you want, tell us what you want to do in the future, anything interesting to say, politics, anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there you go, the white twigs. So these are going to go flat down on top of the oasis, exactly like this. As you've noticed there, this is the only foliage I have, and that's all I'm using in this arrangement. So I'm going to take these out. So in this box, we have, I think I've used these before, we have 
These are called German pins. I know you probably can't see them from there, but anyhow, these are going to hold these twigs down into place for me. Oh, there you go. I see. So I thought that was going to go up, but it's going to go sideways. No, it's going completely flat down. It's not coming up at all. No part of this, well, one part of it is coming up. But really, that's about it. So that's it. So they're secured. Secured. Oh, I might put another one in. I've seen this one here, Ben. So it's so secure-ish in place. Oh, see? Now, again, where would you put this? On a mantelpiece, on a coffee table, on a hall. But it's it's a it's a statement piece without a doubt. Um, yes, I would use a lot of these at Christmas, but you could also use them. But it, uh, for a special occasion, it is a special occasion arrangement. Now I'm using candles in this, so I'm just going to with this um, is a kind of a, a pearl on the on a wire. So I'm just going to decorate the uh, the candle. So just catch it there. See, so it kind of catches the cool. the pearl, keeps it in shape there, and then I'm just going to spiral it up the candle. There you go. Can't go on fire. Well, as far as I know, anyhow. Unless you light it. <laughs> no, I mean after you light it. Oh, the pearl, sorry. Anyhow, so there you go. Candle. Oh, looks great. So I just said I'd show you that. So I'm going to use three candles. This is the holder goes in like so, goes in like so. Now, some people would like their candles going one, two, three. That's great, that's fine and all that, but I don't. 12 viewers now in. Oh, hello 12 people. Hello everybody. What do you think so far? What should we do? <laughs> oh, now you see, now that's gone a bit haywire on me there. Okay, you go in there then, Grant. So these are ones I prepared earlier. Here we go. Here's another one. Now you don't have to do this arrangement with the pearl on it. I just liked the idea of it. There. And then the third candle goes here. The other thing, uh, we did a competition there with the um, Euro Millions. I don't think we won. What time is the draw tonight? It's, uh, Same time as it was Friday night, Paul. So Except a different day. <laughs> But uh, I, think we, I think we might buy another Euro Millions ticket again this week and have another crack at it. If we don't win tonight or whenever Jeez, the draw is. If we have another crack at <laughs> it. So we're going to be doing this every week until we win it, is that it? Well, not every week until we win it. We, so, we, do, we do another one for the crack. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use these lovely red Naomi roses. I stopped oh, I talking get a about look the, at these um, guys. Stop talk, talking wow. about that. They're gorgeous rose. Yeah. So again, like I said before, I'm cutting them short. So I'm going to put these in really low, right across the twigs. So I'll turn this around, or Paul will come over again, which is yeah. the tripod. Now, so you'll see, that, and they'll be kind of more or less touching. You need to get in behind here because- Each other. Yeah, there we go. There you go. So I'm putting them in right across. And Dougie says, love the candles. They are cool, thank you. Thanks, Anne. Well done, Inda. Welcome home <laughs> from Australia, Anne. There you go. Must be nice to be back in lovely cold Ireland for the summer. Now, so that's wow. that part Ooh. of it there. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. So then we're going to use this. Is called. Is this what I call it? Peter's forum. No. <laughs> um, asparagus Myers. Don't really like the shape of that one. Can you eat it if it's asparagus? Listen, you can eat whatever you want. <laughs> I just didn't tell you, that's all. <laughs> now, so we're going to put him. See, that doesn't look right the way it's going. It's not supposed to look right yet the way it's going. That's the idea of it. I'll put him up here. There. Now, so with this piece here. So this bit's hanging out the end here, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So right. I'm going to grab that. Uh, I'll do German pins again. So I'm just going to pin this one back and wow. get him in with the German pin. Should hold him into place there. And this one here, I'll just get some wire and ah. catch it to. So it just gives a nice shape and dimension to the. Uh, and the green is just so fresh in this asparagus Myers as well. And I will use that third one now. Sorry, just give me one second. 
Oh good God, I'm shaking like mad for some reason. No, it's no reason, we all know why. <laughs> so there we go there. Now this dibble of a branch here, there we go. You stay in there, buddy, that's it. So this, sorry, just one second. No, no, better look at this. <coughs> what do you think, people? No, I just needed to change that. What do you think, comments? So I'm going to put this one in this side. So I'm just doing this the, sim the, uh, the same as that one. But I'm, yeah, I might do actually, but I hadn't planned on it. Another piece of silver wire. Isn't it so easy, Paul? Isn't it really is? Paul yeah. has learned so much <laughs> when from you know doing how. the videos. I had a crack at one um, a couple of weeks ago and it turned out to be an absolute disaster. But uh, yeah. other than that, we won't mention the war. <laughs> Exactly, we gave it to the same thing to the ball and I didn't even want it. I think now, pushing at it in the end. Now, I was going to use this, but I don't think I will. I think that's quite nice as it is, like that. And then, now. So this ah. is sisal, okay? Sisal is exceptionally flammable, okay? So obviously we can't put it up there, even though it is nice. But we can't <laughs> put it up there, okay? So this is what I'm just going to use low down and make sure it's confined within that space there. Okay, I, I want it scraggly. I like that kind of um, shape to it. I'm just going to pull it through. There we go. I'm going to come around the far side here again. Yeah, exactly. So you'll see how that's building up. Okay, so I just got a bit of this here. Is Hazel watching today? We don't know. We don't know. She hasn't said anything anyway. Oh Lord. Now, so there we go there. So that's that. So it's it's away from the flame. This will burn down. Don't let it burn really any lower. I mean the roses, or the candles, any lower than the roses. And here's Oshin as we come back. There's Oshin. All the people that wanted to see Oshin. Bit of his tail there, that's it. <laughs> now, so put that in there. Sorry, people. I'll have another scoop of Oshin. Ah, look at him. Now, so I'm just cutting this into short pieces. There we go there. So this is my filler foliage that I need to use. So really this is a one, two, three, four, five rows arrangement. Now you can do, use orchids on this. Um, certainly Christmas is a fantastic time for being so creative with um, flowers. And you can use so many things like sliced oranges and apples and cinnamon and cones. Obviously, they're all the ones. But then you can use other things, you know, off the top of my head. I can't think of anything. But, um, yeah, that's kind of generally it. So, just that need fantastic. to put that there. Now, just a few other things I want to do. We'll see if we can get it here. I wonder, can I get a high shot of it, actually? Yep, yeah, so just one second now, nearly done. Okay, this is just the old romantic in me. Haven't done it in ages, but you're anyhow. Such is life. Somebody will take me eventually. Eventually. There we go. Now, back to ground level. Now, I'm going to, oh, did you get that from a high? Yeah, it was a good shot. Oh, okay. So that's the back of the arrangement. <coughs> this is the front of the arrangement. As I said, very simple. Well, I think it is. So very simple and a little bit scraggly there, peoples. But that is very cool. Roughly it. Excellent. And see, the Demontes are nice. Now I should fill in, which I will later. I'll fill in. There's really any more than four, five, or six roses. I've used five. I can slightly crook it. We have a comment. All the comments are piling in now, folks. So Sharon McKeown says, so talented and creative. Love watching all the videos. Thank, Thank you, you very much. That's cool to hear. We love to hear that. And Danielle Eustace, yet again, it's fab. Thanks, Danielle. Thanks a million, guys. That's Thank great. Thank you so, so much. So um, that's it. Uh, so that is, as I say, when it comes to more um, autumn and definitely, obviously, Halloween and Christmas, um, arrangements are just fabulous. and, and Again, like to be challenged on something or other. But if you don't, I just keep coming up with, with ideas of what to do. Yeah, but guys, if you want to see something in particular, leave a comment on any of the posts because we read them and Enda gets ideas and, and yeah, tries absolutely. different things. You know? And I, I, I try to do something. Now, somebody did ask me once 
um, to do a hand tie bouquet. I won't be showing you guys how to do a hand tie bouquet because that's my bread and butter. Yeah. Um, I'll certainly show you how to do arrangements, 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 buzzes, arrangements, arrangements, arrangements. Oh, and just one other thing before you go. Hold on. Yeah. And uh, we're going to buy another set of the, um, the uh, Euro Millions tickets and have a bit of fun with that again. As Oshin is now going to sleep, and uh, he woke yes. up as soon as I said it. Oh yes, yes. Yes. So the orchid plant. That's how it's coming on. If people Here, can hold see on, it. Get right close to it. Okay. So people can see it. Look how well the branch has come. The blooms are beginning this to come out. This is the guy we cut back a uh, good while ago, wasn't it? Uh, about five weeks maybe ago now. And you see, so the blooms are beginning to appear. There's a new branch that has started on this one. So soon enough. Within the next two weeks, I'm going to start pinning this onto yeah. um, the thing so it, th this bend doesn't go. But I don't want to do it too early. It will snap the plant. You can see how dry it is. That's where I cut the leaf off. But look, there's a new root. And that's... So there's this a was new, a, a lady There's a new was... root there, look. Yeah, yeah. See? And that's, that's a really good sign. And look how dry it is. It is so dry. I haven't watered it in ages, and that's just the way, that's the way the plant grows, develops, and loves. Brilliant. And loves. And so this was a lily that was expiring a while ago, and then we brought it back to a uh, Philanopsis orchid. Oh, sorry, sorry, Philanopsis. Yes, Philanopsis orchid. Sorry. Paul. Yes, yes, I'll eventually get really? it. Look at all these gorgeous flowers. One last sweep around the shop, and then we. Thanks say, very much, everyone, for looking in and all the comments and blah blah. And I'm out of here. See you later, guys. See you Bye. later, guys. Bye.